Hi! In this Beat Dissected, we show you how to program a 5-4 drum and bass groove in the style of Machine Drum, Nassage Thing or Loan. To build the beat, we'll be using Loop Cloud samples and loops. Loop Cloud is a cloud sampling service brought to you by Loop Masters, and it makes use of AI search technology that allows for searching for samples using tone, stereo width, length, swing, rhythmic density and more. Before we get started, you can also download the MIDI file from this video's article version using the link in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest content from Attack Magazine. Let's lay down the foundation of the beat with the kick and hi-hat. With the kick, eighth notes are key for the groove. The quarter notes are the five notes in the bar that hit at the same time as the metronome, or one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. The eighth notes sit between these, and you can count them one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and. The kick is doing two things in this pattern. The first of these is hitting at the first beat of every bar. The second use of the kick is adding syncopation via eighth note hits. The pattern is a two bar loop and in the first bar it plays on the three and. In the second bar it plays on three and as well as four and. The hi-hat is also working to stabilize the rhythm by every single eighth note. Add Live's Velocity MIDI device and increase random to a value between 15 and 20. This will make each note slightly different in volume and ultimately make it sound more live. We've inserted Live's reverb on the hat to make the part wider. A 600 millisecond decay time, 24% dry wet and some internal chorus should be more than enough. For the snare parts, we're going to add one rim-like main sample and an acoustic-sounding flammed snare hit. As with traditional DNB or even breakbeat, the snare needs to form a call and response relationship with the kick. It also needs to provide syncopation using fills to emphasize offbeat hits. Velocity is key here and using lower velocities for the fills makes it sound like a real drummer is playing. For example, in the first bar fill, there's a low velocity hit followed by a high velocity hit. At this stage, it's helpful to review the musical parts. Each chord plays at the same time as either a kick or a snare. The same applies to almost every single bass note. The relationship between these elements make the 5-4 groove sound far more natural. We can also increase our pattern from 4 to 8 bars to accommodate some more variations with the snare. The flammed snare comes in right at the end of the 4th and 8th bars to add some suspense before the next downbeat. Something Machine Drum will do often is sprinkling organic acoustic drum textures across its productions. If the drum hit is too dry, you can always add some reverb with a short decay. We use Live's reverb with a decay time of 868 milliseconds at 11% wet. The last part we're going to add to the beat is a 16th note tambourine loop. One of the best parts about working with Loop Cloud is that it has a plugin that syncs the app to your DAW, warping every loop to your tempo so you can test it in real time. After going through a couple of percussion loop options, we settled on this one, especially because it has some of its own internal swing that adds another level of rhythm. 
Drag your loop onto a pad in the drum rack and extend the note in the piano roll so it continues to play while held. Finally, to add some general cohesion and punch, add a glue compressor to the whole drum rack. Enable EQ and roll up the frequency setting to 190Hz so that the kick drum triggers the compressor less. Set the attack to its slowest value, lower the threshold until you get about 2-3 dB of gain reduction, and increase the makeup knob to around 4 dB. Here's the final drum pattern over 8 bars. Hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to like and subscribe to Attack Magazine for all the latest content.